I'm Charles Martinet, and now it's time for Bit Trip Presents Runner 2, Future Legend of Rhythm Alien. Okay, so why did I leave that Charles Martinet intro in place? I can almost guarantee that you've heard Martinet's voice several times over the span of your life, but you might not know who he actually is. Martinet is the voice of Mario, Luigi, Waluigi, Baby Mario, Baby Luigi, and, and even Parthenax, the dragon from Skyrim. He's a, a gaming icon and legend, whether or not you've ever actually heard his name before. Uh, he has been representing Nintendo alone since the dawn of voice work and gaming for that company. Anyways, I'm Joey Davidson, Senior Gaming Editor at Techno Buffalo, and I'm bringing you a look at the recently released Runner 2 from Gaijin Games, or as it's known entirely, Bit Trip Presents Runner 2 Future Legend of Rhythm Alien. <laughs> Before we go breaking this game down further, I'm just going to step away and let you listen to the music and pay attention to the visuals. Runner 2, in case you haven't already figured this out, is an infinite running game. Just like its predecessor, players are charged with pushing buttons in order to jump over, duck under, smash, and block the obstacles that get in their way. I'm actually playing this game on the PC. I can use a keyboard, but the user interface, the, the menu that Gaijin Games created for this one, really recommends using a gamepad or a controller. So I am using a controller, and the difference is remarkable. Um, it's a much better game when played with a controller, so maybe you can use that to inform you in, in regards to which platform you pick this thing on. on. But uh, much like everything else in the BitTrip series from Gaijin Games, Runner 2 is also based heavily on the music that you hear in the background. So everything you do in the game builds that song that you hear while you're playing, and the result is this really charming, fun ambience that accompanies the controller hurling frustration that comes from memorizing patterns and reacting quickly. So yeah, despite the overall sunny disposition and exceptionally cheery music, Runner 2 is a tough game. You're going to repeat levels over and over and over just to make sure you've collected each and every stack of gold, unlocked all the costumes, and nabbed the extras. It's an insanely addictive formula that works really well. And one of the compliments that I have to pay Gaijin Games is that they made things happen quickly. So yeah, you're going to play levels that are really frustrating, but... When you die or, or, or when you hit something, you'll either revert back to a checkpoint or get sent back to the beginning of the level, and it happens really fast. You're not going to wait for a loading screen every time you run into a brick wall. That would be exceptionally frustrating and make this thing no fun. So I'm sure you've noticed I've hit a few obstacles already. This was the first playthrough I had with this game, but just like that, you're sent back to the starting block. Um, if I had hit a checkpoint in the middle of the level, and I think checkpoints are new to this game, at least memory serves. They weren't in the original. Uh, you're sent back to the beginning of the level quickly. So there's no real frustration that comes from, ugh, I just died, I gotta sit through a loading screen. I hate that in games. And at least Runner 2 skips that and kind of incorporates losing into the overall scheme of eventually winning. It's part of the reason why this formula is so addictive.
As of recording this video, Runner 2 is available for the PC, Mac, Linux, Wii U, and Xbox 360 platforms. It's bound for the PlayStation 3 and PS Vita soon, uh, but those others are released right this very moment. That might change by the time this video is posted, but as of Wednesday, I think it's the 27th of February when I'm recording this, those are the platforms that it's available for. It's a $15 game. Uh, I believe on Steam, if you pay 20 bucks, you can get the soundtrack as well. So definitely worth it. It's a cool cool little pickup. You support indie gaming, and Gaijin Games has been doing this for a while, and it's the runner games really are, are probably their, their bread and butter um, in the BitTrip series anyway. It's really a fantastic, gorgeous game, and I highly recommend it to anyone with some free time and some extra bucks. Thank you guys for watching, and check out technobuffalo.com for more.